Hello and welcome to Techie Chap and welcome to 2023. But what does this new year hold for the Linux and BSD community? Let's find out about a few of the new operating systems we can expect in 2023 after the intro. So first up on the list for systems that I'm looking forward to being released in 2023 is Elementary 7.0. Now, Elementary was one of the first, in fact, the first system that I reviewed on my channel many, many months ago in 2022. And the last update from Danielle says, Oh yeah, it's all coming together. So uh, really looking forward to uh, what they bring in Elementary OS 7. Um, it has been uh, quite a long time coming, but taking a look at the OS 7 project board, uh, we can see that uh, there's not a lot left to do on this project. And uh, it actually looks like it is coming together very, very well. There's some sneak preview screenshots there. The new uniform dock, uh, for example, um, they have been uh, redesigning their app icon. So it's going to have a little bit of a new look to it. And also uh, it will be uh, based on the GNOME 43 uh, platform. So I'm really looking forward to Elementary OS 7.0. Uh, let's see what they can bring uh, in 2023. And um, yeah, hoping for a good release. Now, if you are interested in Elementary OS and you'd like to contribute to the project, then you can sign up uh, to be a sponsor for $10 a month. And with that, you do get access to the early access preview of Elementary OS 7.0. And that means that you can then have some level of input into testing and indeed developing uh, for Elementary OS 7. So if you are interested in this and would like to contribute, then uh, yeah, would recommend you sign up to be a sponsor for the project team at Elementary OS. And next on the list is Haiku. Haiku actually sneaked out a release just before Christmas and it's Haiku Beta 4. Now, if you'd like to know a bit more about Haiku, then uh, you can check it out on my video channel. I did really review uh, Haiku release for, uh, version 3 or beta release version 3 uh, a few months ago. And it's a really interesting system, uh, an interesting operating system. It's based around uh, BOS, which was a system in the mid 90s that really uh, introduced something different from the uh, current uh, Windows dominant environment at the time and indeed was considered by Apple at one stage to be their replacement for OS 9 before they plumped for Steve Jobs company uh, to be OS 10. So BOS has quite a history and it is quite a nice system to use as an operating system in and of itself. Haiku really aims to revive the BOS system and Beta 4 really goes some way to doing that. I'm currently testing it at the moment on my Dell test laptop and I have to say it's a little bit unstable but every release uh, it's it's being regularly updated at the moment. Every release seems to be getting it more and more stable. What's the biggest thing that's new in Beta 4? Well, it's support for GTK applications. And that means you get a full browser with Haiku. Now, for every other OS, that doesn't sound very exciting. But for Haiku, that really is exciting because finally it means that Haiku is getting to a stage where you really can use it as your day-to-day -day operating system. And uh, if you like the way it works and the, 
the way that um, the windows snap together for example and uh, all the other little features that come with Haiku then it could be potentially your daily driver now bearing in mind this is still a beta project and it has been running for many many years but ever since the new full-time developer started it has been getting on leaps and bounds uh, in terms of progress so who knows where we will be at the end of 2023 maybe we will be at a full-on release stage who knows um, they've raised the funding they needed for 2022 so that's also fantastic news and one can only hope that they will be able to continue uh, with the development of haiku and finally get it to a release product stage that would be very exciting indeed next we have ubuntu unity now ubuntu unity is actually already out there however uh, we are expecting uh, further improvements in ubuntu unity in its new form uh, later on this year currently it's really nice um, as you can see from the screenshot here it has uh, transparencies it looks a bit more modern now and the uh, development behind this um, is actually really pushing to make this look and feel like a modern os but with the full-on unity spin and that's a great thing i think because i did actually enjoy using unity back in the day when it was the way ubuntu normal or ubuntu standard function and to see it return uh, with a bit more uh, pizzazz <laughs> in terms of looks um, I think is a, a great thing so um, full props to the uh, Unity team for uh, bringing this back as they say Unity 7, Unity 7 ain't dead <laughs> um, so yeah fantastic um, the um, the look and feel of this product already is looking really really nice so I'm looking forward to giving this version a test fairly soon uh, as as a review and um, we'll see how I get on with that next we have FreeBSD 14.0 now uh, FreeBSD 14.0 um, have a really good release schedule and what seems to be a very tight uh, release schedule as well however you can already test uh, free BSD 14.0 um, I wouldn't expect too much uh, in terms of differences between uh, release 14.0 and release 13.1 however uh, if you are running a, a wireless card that seems to be having problems with 13.1 then hopefully you can expect uh, further improvements and further compatibility with newer uh, in particularly Intel wireless adapters in 14.0 as well as further support for newer CPUs as well and newer GPUs too so 14.0 uh, as you can see it's looking to be released on the 17th of July 2023 and uh, also I should mention that I have checked with the Ghost BSD team and Ghost BSD is a fantastic introduction to the world of BSD and if you're a complete novice like I was with BSD uh, Ghost BSD is a really easy introduction into the world of BSD because uh, it installs almost exactly like any other Linux distro installs has a very easy installer and you get a nice desktop environment with it as well just to get ease you into the world of BSD now I've checked with Eric who is the founder of uh, GhostBSD and uh, he is looking to release a new version of GhostBSD based on FreeBSD 14.0 as and when it's been released and tested so looking forward to that one as well so that's been my uh, quick overview of the top systems that I'm interested in uh, being released this 
brand new year 2023 and it's looking like another great year for Linux and BSD coming up. If you've enjoyed watching this and you'd like to see more then please click on like and subscribe down below and I look forward to seeing you next time. Happy New Year!